Have you all seen that math problem floating around the internet that no one can seem to agree on? If so, in this video, I'm going to solve this question for you guys. But before we do that, if you're prepping for the ACT or the SAT soon, remember to check out the best SAT prep course ever and the best ACT prep course ever at supertutortv.com. I've scored perfectly on both exams as an adult, and our courses have helped students on both exams score up to the 99th percentile, so go check them out. We also have a mailing list that's totally free, so if you don't feel like spending any money, head to supertutortv.com slash subscribe. Subscribe to our totally free mailing list. We'll send you reminders and tips and new videos that we have, and if we have any discounts on our products, we will let you know there first, so be sure to sign up and keep in the loop. And follow me, I'm on Instagram, I'm on Twitter, I'm on Facebook, I hope to see you there. So, let's take a look at this problem that has broken the internet. Eight divided by two times the quantity two plus two. So, the reason that this is breaking the internet is that everyone in the world seems to be arguing all about PEMDAS, okay? And PEMDAS, as many of you know, is parentheses, exponents, multiplication, and division, addition, and subtraction. And what many of you might also know is that in PEMDAS, usually the way that PEMDAS is taught, is that you do multiplication and division in either order from left to right, right? And you do addition and subtraction in either order from left to right. Now, you can't switch positions, right? I can't switch the two to in front of the eight or anything like that but that's usually the way that we do things. So you would think in a problem like this to solve it out, we would just do something like this, right? And so the first thing we're gonna do is the two plus two, so that's four. So then we have the two here, and then we have the divided by here, and we have the eight here. So then we have eight divided by two times four, and then people say, okay, well, I'm gonna do multiplication or division, and then we're gonna do eight divided by two, and that's four. And then we get four times four, and that would be 16, okay? So that's one way to solve this problem. So you would think the answer is 16. But a lot of people are up in arms about this. And one reason they might be disagreeing on the internet is because in PEMDAS, M comes before D. So some people argue that you should do the multiplication first, which I don't actually think is the rules of PEMDAS. But what if I wanted to use the distributive property, right? The distributive property says if I've got anything next to my brackets, I should be able to do this, right? And make this four plus four, right? And then I would get one. And that would be super awesome, right? That would be like a super great way to solve this with the distributive property, but then I get a different answer. And the other thing is even the other way that I solved it, right? If I go to my parentheses first, even if I do this, this two times four, a lot of times whenever we have this next to each other, we assume that that's all a single entity. Sidebar, you may not have used PEMDAS, you may have used GEMDAS, which is just G for grouping symbols, which is basically the same as PEMDAS. So we don't really need to argue about that. Or you may have used something called BODMAS, and this is brackets, order, division, multiplication, addition, subtraction, which means we divide before we multiply or something like that. So then you've got the people who grew up with this think, oh, I do division first and multiplication second. The people who grew up with this think we do multiplication first, division second. It's very confusing, right? And here's what I have to say to this problem. The way to solve this problem is not to solve this problem. I don't think the solution to this problem is 16 or one. I think the solution to this problem is that the person who wrote this problem purposefully wrote it in a way so that everybody on the internet would argue about it because no one ever writes math in such an unclear way. I've never seen a problem that's like this crazy, that's like a PEMDAS problem on the SAT or the ACT or like in high school math ever. Like I've just never seen it. Maybe in like sixth grade math because you have like a crazy sixth grade math teacher. But I feel like this doesn't happen in high school math. You know why? Because nobody writes stuff like this. On a test like the ACT or the SAT, people are gonna use like a fraction bar like this. And then you know exactly what's being asked and there are no questions, right? Because that's the standard way that we write math. And as most of you probably know, once you reach like high school, we don't really use a division sign like this because it's totally confusing. And when we're before the times of high school, we don't really use parentheses until you learn the distributive property in algebra, right? So I guess the big problem with this problem is that this part of the equation looks like the kind of math that you're doing in high school once you insert brackets and, and you're doing a lot of the distributive property and this over here, like we don't really use that. And if we do wanna use that, what we do is we make sure it's super clear what we're dividing by what. So if we want to divide by this, we do this, right? And if we want to divide by the two first, then we should just do this. 
and then everyone will be happy. Tell me what you think the answer to this problem should have been. There's my solution. My solution is it needs more brackets or something, to be clear. And if you're an international student, tell us what the heck O means in BODMAS because I don't get what that means. Maybe that's exponents. I don't know. Tell us, international people. I know you know. I know you know the secret. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If so, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and check out more videos while you're at it. I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye-bye.